We are live and in effect, it is a Friday night and you don't know what that means. I'm not going to assume you do know what that means. So I'm going to tell you what that means. That means we're live and we're live streaming and you are here and I am here. Welcome everybody. Everybody is doing well and had a good we week live. Uh, considering uh, the lockdown that continues to plague us here. Indeed, as we await for folks to pop in here, we're slightly early, but uh, nonetheless, we'll move ahead with some of these comments while we wait for people to pop in. Russ says, it's okay for me, uh, to me, that not all the coins are silver. Sure, it burst my uh, thought that they were all silver. My question is, how do they justify the cost now? I can, could understand if all the coins except the penny were silver. Glad I saw your unboxing before I pulled the trigger and bought them. Thanks for the video. Be strong, be safe, be blessed. Thank you, Russ. Hey, John Rawls is here. I think he's brand new. Welcome, John. He's first to show up in the chat side here. Welcome, my friend. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's right, Russ. Um, um, I'd assume that most people knew that, but only the quarters, dimes, and half dollar are silver in the silver proof set. But it would be nice if they did it like the U.S. Uh, like the Royal Canadian Mint and all of them were silver. Terry, a second. Good to see Terry. Hello, Terry. Welcome. Hope you're doing all right. Very good to see Terry. Boomer Doomer says, Is Lemmy from Motorhead giving me advice on precious metals? Oh, I see. I don't care. Oh, Lemmy. Ace of spades, Boomer Doomer. Yes. That's the first time I've been compared to Lemmy, so that's good. All right. Donald in New Mexico is here. Hello, Donald. Good to see you. We got Donald, Terry, and John Rawls. Good to see you. All right. Hudakon says, I was here. Well, where are you now? That's what I want to know. Where are you now? Low blood pressure says, spot makes no sense. You can't even take delivery at those prices. Yes, that's right. All right. Of course, you never really could at spot price anyway. You're always going to have to pay some premium, but the premium is just... Uh, Crazy Voodoo Scratch is here. Repeat that. Now we got some folks rolling in here. Barbara Carbone is here. Here's a slurp in her honor. Good to see ya. Mm. And just Jeff got his 2020 proof set yesterday too. Very cool. Did you get the silver set or the clad proof set? Just Jeff. Just curious there. And... Uh, Rocky Superstar. Stalin I'm still waiting on my sets. It will be interesting to see if the silver proof sets... Are put back into production. The penny and nickel, uh, the same in silver proof set as a clad set. Yes, they are. I wish they would make the scent, though. Uh, I really do wish they would make the scent 95% uh, copper, 5% tin, like they do for the, uh, like they used to do. That'd be nice. Collector copper. Repite is here. Hello, Repite74. And Silversmith is here. Larry Winnington is here. All right. Thank you, my friend. Godspeed. Team Planet Earth. Good to see you, Larry. Yes, indeed. All right. Just Jeff got just Jeff got the silver set. Very good. Rick Pumariaga says hello. Hello. Mm. Uh, I'm going to slurp a coffee. I just hit the camera or the microphone with the cup. I apologize for that. Please don't sue me. Get a little matter. Barbara says, beautiful sets of coins, Sal. Really love awesome. Really lovely and awesome to add to your collection. Thanks for sharing. Enjoy the extra flavor to your commentary, too. A very talented flipper you are. Yes, indeed. I like to flip my coins. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Barbara. All right. Very good. Vitae. Vitae is here. Vitae 1. Hello. I think you're new, too. Good to see you. Russ is here. Stop raining where Repite 74 is. That's good to hear. Very good. As we move on up the comment chain here now. Felix Kramer von uh, Clauser Brush has been in 2026 West Point Panda. They keep buying up companies here. Yeah, there you go. Saying what's going to happen with the um, special uh, freebies they're going to start adding to these sets. All right. Now, hey, by the way, speaking of dictators, it has been reported by the... Uh, uh, some news agency that there has been a North Korean Kim Jong-un sighting. That's right. There has been a sighting of the North Korean dictator. Now the latest rumor is as he has been holed up, pun intended, with 2,000 of his harem. That's right. 2,000 sex slaves to avoid the corona. 
Yes, indeed. And he is joining us here with the wrong avatar. He's got the one of his dad. I guess I guess the dictator likes his dad. Indeed. Very good. Ah, where are we going? We're going to Vegas of gold and silver. It says, before I buy any mental, I always ask my LCS selling and buying price about a lot of products. Then I go away, do my mats, and come back to buy the product with smaller percentage difference and the moment. Amazing video. Thank you. Yes, indeed. And that's the beauty, beautiful thing about precious metals is that, even, you know, you find that with any other um, thing out there. Now, commodities, I guess, are different, but good luck finding other commodities to trade like gold and silver, as fungible as they are. But tell me any uh, Best Buy or electronic store will take your iPhone back in two years and give you a spot, will give you any amount what you paid for it. You know what I mean? So as much as people say about silver, even if you do take that loss... Um, you know, you're going to get, you're not going to lose out completely on it. Even if you lose money, you're not going to lose as much money as you would if you, say, acquired or spent that money on electronics or some other, um, you know, essentially wasted product or something that just depreciates completely. All right. Native Stacker, Stacker is here. Good to see a native. And Bar Jamie Fox is also here. And Silversmith is here. Good to see all you guys. Mark B is here as well. And Juan Ortiz is also present with us here on this live stream. Johnny Woodbridge says, Thanks for buying and showing this, Sal. I agree that the price increase was not justified. Also, they should have not put the W nickel in that bag. A plastic case would have been better. That's right. Six dollars in a bag. I agree. Johnny, and, and see, the thing is, that's just my opinion, that the price is not just, price increase is not justified. I understand the men has to raise costs to meet production costs and things like that, but I think they're just too much. Um, uh, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Colonic Stacker, MMA matchup, Patriot General Michael Flynn versus the entire band Coldplay. Well, I'm going to have to go with uh, Michael Flynn on this one, uh, Kalonic Stacker. Well, because uh, he has uh, been exonerated. And uh, I would even say the entire roster <clears throat> of the last three tours that Coldplay had against Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn would win that for sure. Yes, indeed. My money is on Michael Flynn any day of the week. In fact, he should head up the FBI at this point. All right, El Poor Cano is here. Morning, sun is out, weather is cooling. Hoping to get out in the garden today. Yes, thank you, El Poor Cano. It is getting to be fall there. Almost into winter time. Good to see you, sir. All right. All right, let's see here. Very good. Silver Wolverine says, Wow, just flipped mine. Didn't realize how easy it was to flip. Thanks, Sal. Yes, indeed, Silver Wolverine. It is very easy to flip them if you use the salivate metal method. He said, will the quarter and dime be silver is the question. And the silver proof said, I think it should be. Oh, and he just put it in this video. Yes, indeed. That's right. Hell yeah, Silver Wolverine is here with us. All right, Silver Wolverine, good to see ya. Mm. Coins A to Z is here with us. Hello, Coins A to Z. Welcome, my friend. Open. good to see ya. Thanks, Michael. All right. Yes, indeed. Michael, Michael. Michael J. Fox, maybe. I'm not sure who he's talking about there. Anyways, Roger Kennard says, Thanks, Sal. The collector, nice flip on that five-cent coin or W nickel. Very good reverse flip as well. Now take it out of the bag and do a real coin flip. I predict Sal won't do it, folks. That's right. I didn't do it. I noticed you spoke, misspoke in the second time regarding the bonus freebies 2022 W quarter. Whether the half W color will be dated 2023 W dollar will be dated 2024. Yes, let's hope the bonus freebies. West Point dime, quarter and half dollar be 999 silver, and the United States Mint should raise the price of the silver proof set unless, of course, the precious industrial metal goes above 25. It very well could. That's right. Very good. Thanks, Roger. Appreciate that. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Mm. Ah. 
Hi, Sal. It says Terry. I started thinking, hey, Terry, how you doing? Appreciate that. MVL9591. Also, there was a 96 Roosevelt dime included in the 96 U.S. Mint set. That's right. They're true. Well, that's a right. Uncirculated set. That's a highly sought after dime, by the way. You're right. Very good. Okay. Oh, Silver Smith says Kaylee did her uh, great job in her first White House briefing today. I'd like to see that. I miss it. Oh, there it is. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Here's CCT. Check out his new avatar. Because he is a, uh, uh, a a special cabinet member advisor, so he has his own avatar there. Look at that. Or his own little emoji there. He's twitching from behind that curtain. There he is. Look at that. CCT. All right. Good to see you, sir. Glenn D. says, Friday Night Live. Friday Night Live. We are here, Glenn D. Just waiting for you. We are twiddling our thumbs. We missed Tara in the last stream. That's right. We sure did. I'm glad she's here. Mm. I said, thanks, Michael, because it sounded like you made a Michael Jackson song reference. Oh, a line from the song. Okay, cool. I forgot what I said. Maybe I did. Um, maybe I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I don't know. Maybe we're looking for a change. Let's get those likes up for Salivate Metal. Thank you, Jamie. Yes, the likes would be cool. I want more likes than there are people in here. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see. There's 47, which is the atomic number for silver. All right. Yes, everybody be safe. That's right, CCT. That's right. Be safe out there. Um, uh, stay cool. Stay collected in this environment indeed. All right. Oh, where are we at? Sterling Cannabis is here with a bong hit. Nice to see you, sir. Lost of words. Can't wait to get mine. All right. I'm glad you got one in order. They're temporarily sold out, but they'll be back again since the San Francisco Mint will be opening up on Monday. Ulcer says, I got mine recently. I'm very happy with the quality, and the nickel is very nice. Prompted me to order the regular proof set, where I normally only get the silver ones. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah. Good idea. I might order the... Uh, the reverse proof nickel um, separately uh, somewhere, maybe in a slab, only because of the protective nature of the slab as a collector. All right, Donna, New Mexico discovered Pamela Rice's treasury seal. Very good. That is in honor of our, of our lovely uh, Pamela Rice, who is our secretary of the treasury. So that's her custom emoji, a perk of the highest level of membership here at the Salvation Nation. But I appreciate all members of the Salvation Nation uh, that are paying members, but appreciate everybody for sure for being here. I appreciate all you guys. Ozzy Alchemist, good day. We're getting notifications for your videos, but are not in the live stream. Yeah, that is weird. I'm s Well, I'm glad the video notifications are going out, and thank you so much for viewing. Ozzy Alchemist, a great channel, everybody. Check out Ozzy Alchemist. He does metal detecting in Australia. A great guy. So definitely check out Ozzy Alchemist's channel. There he is. Hello, Johnny Woodbridge. I think you're new here. Welcome, sir. Always appreciate seeing new folks here. PNC Floyd. Good to see you again. Welcome. I'm going to flip this. Gold Maple. Hello, Gold Maple. Welcome to you, sir. All right. A lot of good folks popping in here. Even Terry's still here. I can't believe it. Terry's still here. Barbara's still here. And Alan Gold, I think, is still here, but he's lurking. Uh, YT Guy, 2010, says, A Royal Canadian Mint makes a regular proof set uh, with only the silver dollar being silver. Um, and they also make an all-silver proof set where all the coins are silver. Both sets have ridiculous premiums. Yes. Yeah, they are pretty high premium uh, sets, that's for sure. I've got one from 2010. Uh, let's see here. Sterling Cannabis, pay members, who are you paying to be here? Oh, yeah, I've got to pay all my viewers. I've got to pay to get viewers. Yes, indeed. All right. Kevin is here. Kevin Cowan, good to see you, Kevin. Slurp, slurp. Good to see you. Mm. Ah. JRW3. They should have went back to the original Jefferson design, made them 35% like war nickels, and put the W above the Monticello. My favorite Sacagawea design is a 2012 with a Native American and horse. Yeah, that was a cool design. I like that one too. Yes. And that is a good idea. I think it pay homage, especially since the war, this is the end of the anniversary of the war. That would have been a perfect thing to do. You're right, JRW3. 
Boy, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. All right. Donald New Mexico says, uh, liberate the nickel. No silver nickel. I didn't get silver SBAs in my 1999 proof sets. I started ordering annual silver proof sets from the Mint in 1995. It is the best proof set the Mint puts out. Very cool. Yes, indeed it is. That's cool. So Donald New Mexico has sets, proof silver proof sets, dating all the way back to, to uh, 1995. In fact, um, there were, yeah, that's right. There were no uh, Susan B. Anthony in the proof sets in 1999. They did create a separate 1999 silver proof or uh, just regular proof coin, but it was not silver. And those, I think, are selling for some premiums. All is one now is here. He says, I appreciate the Friday Night Live stream and also Barbara Carbone and Nato Stack and everybody else. Well, thank you, All is one now. We appreciate you. You are awesome, my friend. So good to see you. All right, there we go. Okay. Dr. Nigel Ramsey's. I didn't have the extra cash to spend on the sets this year. Instead, I decided to buy graded PF69 W nickels instead. Cheaper, and I get what I want. There you go. I want to. I kind of want to get one of those. That's cool, Dr. Nigel. I think Silver Honda got one of those. That's what inspired me. Manicunin Stacker. Hello. Good to see Manicunin Stacker. I think he's from the United Kingdom as well. Good to see you. Welcome, sir, as we slurp some coffee. All right. Silver so Smith, imagine North Carolina leader showing up at Camp David this weekend. Yes, that would be interesting. All right. Very good as we move ahead here. Paul Wood says the, that nickel looks awesome. Yes. Pretty cool looking. I agree. Rocky Superstar with a real Sullivan medal. Please stand up. Please stand up. All right. Yes, indeed. Try my best. All right. Call Silver says spot is never relevant during a crisis. Once panic has subsided, spot will mean something again. That's true. Good point. The lesson is this. Don't buy metals during a crisis. Sell during a crisis. Metals are great for sellers since COVID-19 arrived. Buyers uh, have taken a beating and will have a difficult time recouping their investments made these premiums. That's true. Especially the spot price doesn't go up to meet, match those premiums. You're right, Call. Very good. Good advice. All right. All right, let's see here. All right, CCT says I need some more Celebrate Metal Rounds. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Atmex, I think, is supposed to get them in about three weeks, but I need to touch base and see if they actually did order those. But there may be a... It may be tough to get the silver. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, they'll get them. Lost for words says, surprise. Mine was delivered by FedEx. Didn't think I was getting them today because they didn't come in the mail. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad they arrived. That's cool. Joe Costello, feed us some guitar. All right, I might pull it out later. We'll see. Alan Gold is gone. Where is Alan Gold? He never says goodbye when he leaves. That really tees me off. It really gets my goat. Even though I don't have a goat to get. Rockin' Rod is here. Greetings from northeast of New York. Hope you're staying safe up there. I think it's pretty um, uh, safe in that region if you're in the northeastern side of the state. But still, you know, the whole state of New York is still um, getting hit pretty hard. On top says Grow Mechanic. Where do you stand on top? There you go, Grow Mechanic. All right, he was first on this video that I posted today. Where do you stand with silver? It has lost its luster, says Chuck and Plata. Yes. I know some people are disappointed. It's understandable. Sal, I bought all my gold around 1K. Do you think I should sell a couple? Um, you know what? Um, you can make some money on it for sure. Uh, I would, you know, I mean, if it were me, I wouldn't sell at all. I mean, I've got gold that I bought at $300 an ounce. I'm not selling um, but if you have, if you feel like you have enough, you want to, and you want to sell a couple, I wouldn't sell at all. But maybe a couple if you want. We'll see. I mean, the problem, the predicament with sellers is you may make, you know, uh, let's say you make um, seven hundred bucks on each of those you you uh, sell, um, and then the price goes up, then you'd be kicking yourself. You should have sold for more. 
You know what I mean? Hold, hold on and sold for more. That's the one predicament. But hey, you make a little bit of money on it, especially if it's money you could use and you you want or need something else, and that's fine. All right. Dang it, I'm number two. Well, Silver Honda, we're just glad you're here, my friend. You were pretty quick on the draw there for that one. Millennial Plastic Stacker, good to see you. All right. Spencer Egger, even if this fiat system persists, it's still due to a major correction to the upside. Maybe we don't get a 6,000% return, but sooner or later, we'll get maybe a 600%. Well, in my feeling is this, um, you know, I don't know. Silver spot price is going to eventually move to the upside, I feel. Um, and when, when the mints start to open up and supplies start coming in, then the premiums will go down. And then um, some of these prices may normalize. And But I don't know. It's, it's hard to predict when it's going to happen. Okay. Kick yourself for me. All right, Terry. I'm trying to. Good to see you too, Millennial. Silver's plastic stacker. Pathfinder never could get a hold of that scammer back. In fact, I can't. Uh... Okay, no, I do have his number here. But I can't get I can't call him. My darn phone app is not working. I might try to call him from my other phone here. Um Maybe after a bit, we'll try him back and see if he answers. John Anderson, buy and buy and then buy some more, says John. That's his motto for silver. All right, very good. All right. Hello, Grow Mechanic. Good to see you. CCT says, if I can sell something that gets me back more than I would have in a savings account that I'm selling. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. That's true. And so if you have gold that you bought at a certain price and you can get back more on it, then uh, yeah, it's a it's a way to do it. But I would only sell the gold that you're okay with selling. I would not sell all of your precious metals, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Eric says, I'd be pretty it'd be pretty sweet if spot buyback rose to reasonable levels so I could offload about two hundred and fifty ounces. Now there you go an idea of somebody to sell when the prices are up. I got three burner phones, Terry. Yes, indeed. No, I don't know. I got a couple of phones here. A couple of ways to call out. Let's put it to you this way. Let's put it to you that way. JT Stacks. Look, I'm pushing 50 and I've been collecting silver from the day my Grammy gave me 1888 Morgan. I'm a collector. Many slabs of beautiful coins, but I'm a stacker now. I took that smash down to $14 Years ago to heart, I'm doing fine and my family is safe. I'm not rich or poor. My 20-year-old truck runs fine and my 13-year-old son shoots better than me. Time to plant some carrots. Well, JT, dude, you have nailed it. You've got it because you bought uh, at smart times when it was down to $14 when you could buy it for reasonable premiums above $14. You're not losing out on it. You're up on, on it, you know, depending on when you bought a dollar cost average, that's what it's about. JT Stacks, great comment. Very good. Okay, let's see here. I stand with silver. All right, there you go. Highlander stacking. Thank you, sir. He's the man. Very good. Okay. Let's see if we can call this guy back, Chris. On a cellular device here. Let's see if we can call him back here. Oh, man, I tell you what. See, the thing is, I don't know if this is a cell phone or not. We'll find out. We won't leave him an annoying message this time, like we did last time. Chris with a Fundy, all Fundy or Fundy, Fun Shop or whatever. Oh, here's a buck bison nickel. 2005 bison nickel I've got there. See what happens here. Kendall Kidd is here, by the way, everybody, just so you know. Hi, you've reached Chris Kendall with Fun Shop. Sorry, I can't take your call right now. Please leave me a detailed message and I'll get back to you. 
It's a fun shop. He's not answering. Chris is not answering from fun shop. Shucks. Ah, uh, let's see here. Joey says, where? Sunday or Monday should I get a one kilo bar or 10 ounce bar plus five ounce bar from nine mint? Three Morgan dollars all for 1K US, including international shipping. One gold made a possible amazing deal that it traded some gold for silver and redeemed it and paid tier one prices of Atmex for any quantities. Pay for it with crypto. Swap the gold and silver once gains a percent, uh, percentage of paid tier one prices. Can't complain at all. Nice job, Joey. You did very well, my friend. Very well indeed. All right. Very good. Let's scroll up here. Where are we at? Check the markets. The markets have closed, Donald, but here they are. There are closed. Gold's up 1%. Silver's barely up one penny, but it is over $15. Platinum's down $9. Palladium is down under 2000 now. Down 74. That's nothing else happening there. That's where they closed. All right. Very good. Check my oil. That's right. Bob Often is here. Good to see you. We've got 63 watching. Kind of a smaller crowd tonight. That's okay. Russ says, Sal, I'm with you. I'll stand for with and by silver. Just waiting for my stimulus and disability check to hit my account so I can buy more insurance for the far, far future. Be strong, be safe, and be blessed. There you go, Russ. Yes, indeed. All right. Where are we at? Keep it, don't, but wait to buy it. There you go. Keep it, but wait to buy it. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Hodakin says, honestly, I don't like silver. I avoid it. I'd rather have a quarter ounce gold over a full tube of silver, but I enjoy watching people stack silver. I just don't buy it personally. Yeah, I understand. Um, I don't really stack it anymore, although I did buy a tube of Eagles uh, this year, but I, I'm more... Uh, going into the gold route, but I have obviously silver laying around. I'm not going to sell it, but I do have it. But I've kind of have shifted to gold for the most part, and a little bit of platinum this year too. Silver Wolverine says I would be much happier with it, with it if the premiums were so stinking high right now. In fact, I have a similar video coming like this, sort of cool. All right, very good, Silver Wolverine. All right. Where are we at? I salute you, Silver, says Silver Smith. It's in his name. That's right. Very good. Ah, where are we at? Ozzy Alchemist. I stand with the salivation, marination, fiscalation nation. Say that three times fast. I can't even say it one time fast, Ozzy. But thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, let's see here. Time Lord says, if I have a 50 buck bill in my pocket, it disappears, but find it hard to lose my silver holy dollar. I think it's pretty, so I'll stand tall next to AG until my stack is higher than me. There you go. All right. All right. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mikey's back says, I stand with another $100 face value bag of constitutional silver on the way. Constitutional silver. Monument Metals has it for $4.49 over spot. Nice. All right. And there you go. That's a reasonable buy. Yes, indeed. Mm. Ah. CCT says, where do I stand with silver? My silver stands way taller than me. All right. There you go, my friend. CCT. All right. Yes, indeed. John Anderson here is here, but he did not get it notified. I'm sorry. Yeah, the uh, notifications aren't extremely reliable, John. Uh, but just know that I do my live streams every Tuesday, every Friday, and every Sunday, all at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. Very good. Avenger says, another great episode. Thank you for sharing with us. Stay safe, everybody. All right. Thank you, Avengers. Very good. 
Silver sucks. Prove me wrong. I dare you. All right. Well, um, hey, it's a. Uh, I bought silver when it was four dollars an ounce. I'm above water on that silver. I've also paid for silver for forty dollars an ounce. I'm underwater on that. In the long run, I'm doing okay with silver um, compared to um, uh, many other commodities or any other thing out there that you buy. Um, it's still a precious metal, and it's still doing what it does. Um, and I've never overpromised silver's uh, performance. And uh, I've always known that silver, at the very best, can preserve our wealth in the long term. It's just that it's gotten volatile lately, and it's kind of been down in the dumps lately in terms of spot price, but in terms of regular price. In fact, even though some of the bullion dealers may not give you uh, what would be considered a fair price for generic silver, uh, you know, they may give you a little bit above spot, like maybe a dollar above spot or something like that when they're charging, I don't know, four or five dollars over. You know, that's part of business, but obviously they give more for the, uh, they give more for eagles. But you can sell it. You can sell generic silver and do better uh, on on Instagram and other places out there. And there's people out there wanting it now. So I think the fact that the demand for the physical is high proves that silver does not suck at all. Um, if we didn't see that big demand and we saw the premium stay very low, then you might have a point. But the fact of the matter is, is silver is maintaining its price structure. The final price uh, it hasn't gone up a whole lot, uh, but it's gone up just a little bit during this. And there's a lagging indicator, but we've seen that. I've talked about that in prior videos, too. All right. Mm, Kid, no kid. Offer Terry a gold coin if she gives you a phone number to call. Well... Good grief, she could just put any phone number in there to call. You know, if you're telling her to put just put a phone number, she could put my phone number in there, 8675309 to call. And then I have to give her a gold coin. Not a good deal. Not a good deal at all. Rocky Superstar is here. Good to see you. <clears throat> all right. Friday night, Friday night live. Well, we're here, Glendy. We're just waiting for you. We're waiting for you. Hawaii AG says, used half my stimulus payment and just paid $3.84 over spot for another 31 generics. Still uh, steadily stacking silver with you, Sal, just with taxpayer currency this time. Uh, the irony. Yeah, well, hey, not a bad deal considering a normal premium. So there are deals to be had out there for sure. All right, Jamie Foxx. Ordered a gold buffalo at my LCS today, and the dude gave me a silver buffalo. Whoa! That's cool. We gave you a silver buffalo for ordering a gold buffalo. Nice. Congratulations. Vanessa, your resident cartoonist has arrived with a new silver Iranian coin at Melt. Nice. $10 and $20 gold certificates. Sweet. All right. Andy Jones. Okay, this is a scammer. Hate that these get through, but sometimes I do. Okay. Eric, our resident bouncer, is here. Hello, Eric. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome, sir. Mm. Yes, indeed. Joe says, I'm okay with my ASCs, uh, rounds, and bar stacks. But right now, Constitutional Junk Silver from Monument Metals uh, in Maryland keeps putting it out there cheaply. My nth order this year for Junk Silver from them, just thinking ahead before the line, lines form. Very good. Nice, Joe. Well done, my friend. Yeah, they seem to have the best deal in Constitutional, for sure. Clog the drain. Just got my 10 silver proof sets with a reverse nickel today. Congratulations. 10 sets. Wow. Very cool. All right, yeah, the U.S. Silver Buffalo is a good, great coin. Actually, I'm not a big fan. I don't think that I didn't think they did a good job with that one. That's a 2001 Buffalo copy they did, commemorative. That one sold at a premium for a while, but now they've kind of gone down in price. Juan Ortiz says, "Hey Sal, for me, silver is like art. I love the different styles and designs." 
try to get silver as cheap as possible, but don't get it for the cost and get it because of its beauty. I'm poor, but when I can, I get silver because I enjoy it for my own reward and enjoyment. Uh, point being, I love silver. There you go. And that's okay. <clears throat> you know, because you're always protected by the intrinsic value. And if you buy it um, with the understanding that you may not recover your losses, um, or or you may not recover your your premium, your, the, what you price you paid, but you enjoy it, that alone is worth the price of admission for the money you lose. Highlander Stackin is here. Happy Friday, gang. Good to see you. Fist bump there. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Highlander Stackin is here. All right. Dale Vale says, I can wait. Seriously, I doubt it will. I will wait long in a market down. It's headed for the moon. All right. Well, and I don't even know necessarily think that's going to go to the moon, but I do think it will eventually go up in price with what's going on. I believe it will. Eddie's Little Stack says, Greetings. Uncle Sal will now do 43 push-ups all at once or three-handed push-ups per side. I'm not that good. I'm not that good, but I will do some push-ups. have to hear the band Volpec with Joe Dart on Brat Bass. Interesting. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Sal should slurp more and we will drink more. There we go. Slurp more. Yes, indeed. I buy silver to keep Terry and SM from getting all of it. There you go. John Knapp is here. I made it. We're all here, of course. We're not all there. That's right. Good to see you. Are you proud of me, Sal? I haven't timed out anyone. I am proud of you, Kendo Kid. Yes, indeed. Welcome. All right. George Christofi is here. Christofi, good to see you, sir. Uh, old, old Tizer, or... Her, yeah, old scissor says, since I've stacked the past 12 years or so, has done poorly for me compared to gold, or I've done well even though I have been more optimistic about silver until now. I have been selling where it makes sense, but would still buy it if I can get it close to spot. Just ordered 100 ounces from Gainesville for 1704 but won't pay the high premium seen most everywhere. Well, very good. Sounds like you're a smart buyer. And yes, gold certainly has performed better. For sure, than uh, silver. No question. All right. A veteran prepper says, I'm holding for the long run, stacking cash now, and waiting for it to dip below $20. All right. There you go. We shall see. Barbara is slurping water. I'm slurping coffee. I'm going to got some water on the side here to fill this up. When I'm done, when I'm done with it. Repite74 says, What up, all? Sal, I stand at the case at my LCS well before this started and try to decide what I want to buy. Now just pick up what he has curbside till Jersey opens back up. Be safe. All right, my friend. Very good. Okay. All right, Bitcoin Forex guy here is uh, scamming. We're going to remove that. Bitcoin Forex, do not uh, spam your crap on here. It might just be a bot. If it does, if he does it again, we'll ban him. We'll just destroy him here, and he will not come back. That's right. Where else can we be on a Friday night? All right, on mass or shut-ins. That's right. We're here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Where are we at? Now my chat is locked up. Am I still streaming? That's right, we're here. Thank you. Yep, I'm still here, but the chat is locked up on me. Let's see if I can um, refresh the chat here just a second here. I've completely lost the chat. I don't know if, let me see if I can refresh this here just a second here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. They should lose their... Pr that's right. They sure should. All right. Yeah, I I, I missed out. Uh, shoot, I don't know what happened here. But I completely lost the... Uh... Okay, let's see here. 
Very good. Let's see here. All right. Now I'm going to go back and read these comments here. Yankee Stacking is here. Hello, Yankee Stacking. Good to see you. Welcome, my friend. Hello, Terry. Is this thing on? We're on. I'm just trying to catch up with the chat because it froze up on me. And uh, that Bitcoin thing. Uh, yeah, it, got, it did something strange. But uh, yeah, if he, if he posts again, we will ban him. For sure, we'll ban that son of a biscuit. I'm frozen. Frozen, frozen. Rock and Rod, I am on hold. My last silver purchase was March 16th when I made great purchase when spot dropped and just before the dealer drastically raised premiums. Yes, I was smiling. For now, I'm saving that green paper because of the uncertainty. So I do not have to sell my precious metals if financial difficulties come my way. There you go. All right. Sounds like a good thing. Nice. Thanks, Rock and Rod. None of the slurps. Here we go. All right. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> Almost went down the wrong pike here. Mene Mene Tekel says, despite some claiming silver is a monetary metal, it acts as an industrial metal these days. <clears throat> the saving grace is that the planned rise in solar panels. Silver sackers will have the day in court within the next several years for sure. Um... Yeah, I believe demand will certainly increase in the industrial sector, but right now there is a demand increase in the physical coins, rounds, and bars, which uh, I believe helps to preserve it as a monetary metal as well. Very good. All right, good to see Chiefly. Chieftain is here. Good to see you. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. All right, good to see Rocky Mountain Bear. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good to see all you guys here. And uh, Plowable 28, I would go with the gold and the other high-value precious metals when they go on sale. All right. Yes. Good. Yep. All right. XXX Ounce says AUAG 999. Very good. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Kuna Coin says, I stand strong for the next 20 years. Hopefully, I'm rewarded. All right. Yes, I hope so, my friend. You know, and people can time this stuff too, if they um, if they want to sell some of the silver that they made money on, and uh, recoup it at at lower prices, you know, and take that money and the profit and run with it. That's the way to do it too. But it's tough to it's tough to time those uh those markets for sure. But anyways, Rocky Superstar, sell on bullish on silver. I've not bought. Too much gold or silver. I've been uh, bargain hunting, looking for the low premium. I came across two ounce Queen's Beast with a small premium, forty dollars and forty six for it for each. Ended up five dollars an ounce uh, premium. So I bought a few. Still want that gold buffalo though. Yes, indeed. I hope you can get it soon, my friend. Thank you. All right. Now let's see here. Good to see you guys. All right. Oh, thank you, Yankee Stacking. Since so only twenty nine likes. Make sure you guys check out Yankee Stacking for sure, too. You know him. His channel's been on fire. He's been uh, posting some great videos and getting the uh, uh, an equivalent amount of awesomeness and views for sure for those videos. Well done. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Mene says, keep in mind as we stand firm in silver. Okay. Yeah, I think we talked about that. Must have been a double post. Uh, black, red, silver bug. I will only sell silver if I can use the proceeds to buy an equal great amount of ASCs in terms of ounces. That makes it hard to sell given the current premiums. I'm limiting my silver and gold purchases and hoarding cash. Nothing wrong with that, too. I'm staying current on the Queen's Bee series and just completed the Provident World of Dragon series. I hope to eventually purchase one tube of each of the 2020 ASCs, Libertads, and Krugerrands. All right, yes. I think that's a good way to stack and Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Moving ahead here. Lee Bolton, the silver medal. All right, thank you, Lee. All right, yes, indeed. So you move on up the comment chain here. Zephiel says, girlfriend was sorting mercury dimes and was going to put 64 Roosevelt's in with normal change. Oh, my goodness. I hope you stopped her in time. Sounds like you did. Very good. Wow. Good thing Zephiel was there to catch it just in time. 
Okay. And these little stag says, TYU sell dollar cost average indeed. I see silver going and staying up, but not for a few years, as you said. But I'm not selling till I'm an old man, stack it high and wide and forget about it. There you go. That's right. We're going to do it. Hold on to it. Don't sell it now. Don't sell it while it's low. All right. Butch Harding is here. Hello, Butch Harding. Good to see you. All right. Gold Eagle Coins. Personally, I can't justify the high premiums anymore. Not when gold is outperforming and has lower premium. Yes. Still has high premium, but when you take into a percentage account, uh, gold's premiums aren't as high. That's exactly right, Gold Eagle Coins. Thank you, sir. Mellow Stacker says... I don't let the prices bother me at all because market uh, because market prices aren't real. You can't be in silver and gold and not understand it's a hedge. With more money printing going out on there there's uh, there's ever been in history, you should feel good knowing you're holding on to safety. I'm stacking because stackers got to stack. That's right. You know, that's the one thing about silver. Though it's volatile, the dollar is by design at least a 2% uh, loss in value every year by most measures. Very good. Uh, Dale Val is here. Hello, Dale. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Always good to see people popping in here. We got 90 year, 91 now, <clears throat> and 43 thumbs up. Appreciate that, guys. Black Red is here. Hello, Black Red. Good to see you. We won, says Gia Pasella. Yes, that's right. This is on the video. San Francisco meant to reopen basketball coin release date announced. Very good. SDP. Stone, Dimp Stone Dimple Pilots. That's what that stands for. Stone Dimple Pilots. Steve-O says 356. Pore says I sound like Steve-O. I've heard that several times. Yo, dude. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. All right. Trevor Point says, just bought another $13.5 Walk in Liberty today. Congratulations. Nice. Yeah, they're slicked out. Yeah. That's why I don't I don't buy uh, constitutional silver online. I always buy it from the store. All right. Tony Ricci is here. First Brexit, then COVID. What's next for us? VAT free imports from Europe. I know. I tell you what. There's, there's some people that uh, say with all this stuff, quantitative easing and stuff like that, that we may have a VAT coming to us soon. Thank you, Barbara. I'm glad you enjoyed that. That we may have a VAT coming to us soon. Value-added tax to the United States. Mene Mene Tekel is here. Hello, Mene. Thank you so much for popping in here. Welcome, my friend. All right. Let's see here. Jay Silver says, in hindsight, most of the silver I bought in the last seven years, I would go back and buy gold instead. I'm so happy that I bought the gold I did. Nice. All right. Yep. I know. I'm, I kind of wish I would have bought more gold, too, in hindsight. I say, Nathaniel Lee, pew, 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 got you. There you go, Nathaniel. Appreciate that, my friend. Good to see you. Terry is always high, says El Porno. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. All right. Let's see here. NG Coin says, always wow and perfect from the top. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Silver is sexy, says BMX. I agree. It's highly reflective. It's got unique properties. Um, some people like the toning it does as well. But I like the shiny silver. Uh, but silver is a unique metal for sure. Just the physical properties are cool with silver. You know what I mean? All right. 49 thumbs up, one thumbs down, says FIL. Let's go see what Alex Miles has to say. He says, when people detach themselves from spot price, value will be realized. That tied to the paper market is the issue. Yes. Yep. All right. Let's let's uh, let's do some push-ups, people. Push-ups time. Push-up, push-up time. Hello, Victoria Roman Carter. And the Yankee stacking is going to tell me the number of push-ups to do this time. Uh, move things out of the way so I can make this happen. I'm going to 
figure this out. I'm gonna try to find. Ah. Because tomorrow I think I'm going to be posting a first world problem video. It's probably going to get a... If the video that I'm thinking about either tomorrow or Sunday is what I think it's going to be, it's probably going to get a lot of thumbs down. It's probably going to get a lot of thumbs down this video I'm thinking about either posting tomorrow or Sunday. We'll see. We'll see. Just so you know. Waiting on uh, Yankee Stacking to tell me the number of push-ups I need to do. Yankee Doodle Dandy. I hope he's gentle with me. I'm not that strong. I'm no silver wolverine. Uh, go hard on him, Yankee. That's what she said. Let's see here. Where are we at? Waiting. I bet guys are running in place while I could do this. I might be able to do my curls. Oh, that muscle still bother me, my elbow. I might be able to do curls later. We'll see him. Cornholio says Kalonic Stacker. Cornholio. Hi, Don. Well, maybe Yankee went. Maybe Yankee... Uh, we'll go with Silversmith. Silversmith says 24 push-ups. We're going to go with Silversmith's uh, 24 push-ups. Here we go. Ah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, man. You know, doing those, there's no way I could keep up with uh, Silver Wolverine on those. Dang it. Ah, oh, there's 25. So I did one extra. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it was starting to burn a little bit. I might do some curls here in a little bit for, for Terry. I want to do some curls for Terry. We'll see. I know, I'm going to try not to. Ring the bell. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Silver mines would have to open first. Yeah. Do one-handed push-ups. Yes, indeed. Mm. Let's get into some of these comments quickly here. Joe Costello says, Corona is merely the latest election year's medical scare. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens with the investigation in China. Um, um, not to say that it's not. China would certainly like to get uh, Creepy Joe elected, but I digress. All right. Let's see here. Terry is stacked. All right. Nevada stacker. I'm keeping every ounce, not selling, neither gold or silver. Same here. I'm not selling it. I am not selling. Although, parts of me would like to trade some silver for gold. Um, so, I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't know. If that ratio wasn't so high, I would. Paul Moore says, stacking requires the patience of Job. That sure does. I agree. Go to Pete Basso channel, the original silver. Uh, this guy, I think, is a... He's posted this before. Um, I don't know who he is. I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to... Promoting other channels on here? Nope. <clears throat> just gonna delete it. Not gonna block him, but I'm just gonna delete that comment. Let's see here. Now it's locked up. There it goes. Silver has sucked for the past nine years. Don't know why I still buy it. Um. Well, you might be a collector, silver surfer, or. You know, the thing is, is if, you, if you've been buying it for the last nine years, even on its way down, you buy it at a low price. When it goes back up again, you're doing okay. Um, it's volatile. That's part of what the volatility is to it. But uh, I understand. All right. Lawrence doesn't see prices pulling back or stalling as a negative. 
It's the opportunity for stackers and collectors to continue to take advantage of the manipulated paper price with real tangible metal, uh, gold, and silver. When the manipulation comes to an end, and it will, even if it's a few years down the road, our patience and foresight will put us in a better position than 95% of our society. Thanks for the great videos. And you post, Sal, I'm doing 20 push-ups and taking a sip for you. Well, thank you, Lawrence. I appreciate that. And I do agree there's manipulation, although... As I mentioned before, I don't think it plays as big a role as many in the community do, but I hear you on that. Obviously, the physical price is separated now from the from the paper price. Even the futures are, so maybe that is one way of proving your point. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Ah, I just finished my coffee. Now I'm going to put wa water in here. Listen to this. That way you know what's real. You know what's real. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. May the fourth be with you. There you go. That's right, Wood Nickel. I almost made that uh, expression in there, but I didn't do it. Sal, that's a slam dunk. That's right, Repite74. Good job, Repite. I love it. That was a slam dunk comment, my friend. All the way from Joyzy. Mm. All right, very good. I always sweat when Sal's on. All right, Barbara. Yes, indeed. All right. Makes me want to boogie. I like to buy sheep and sell deer. All right. Okay. Uh, Nevada Stacker. It's just a paper price. I don't really follow the Comex. Paper market, the mar value is a metal itself. Gold and silver is the real money. I agree. Gold and silver, real money. All right, let's do a couple of curls here. Um, definitely more than ankle deep, but not quite knee deep. Knee deep in the hoopla. That's right. All right. Very good. Standing above. Let's get here. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, my, uh, elbow has not been quite as sore. So let's see if I can do this. All right. Merrick, Charles Walker is here. Oh yeah. That still hurts. Dang it. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Better not do that. I can do this other arm, but I don't want to. I'm, I'm going to do both arms even. So I might have to let that heal a little bit. I'm literally afraid I'm going to tear that muscle. It feels like it could tear. There's something in there swelled up. Crazy. Ah. Yeah, you know, I'll try it all as one now. I don't want to do that. All right. <clears throat> Voodoo Scratch says we have the Mayflower on our two pound 2020 coin. <coughs> Excuse me. Water went down the wrong pike. Um I thought I think I saw that. The Great Britain Voodoo Scratch. The Mayflower. I thought I saw something advertised about that. That's cool. Uh, switching hands, native stacker. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, indeed, native. All right. Use the other hand. All right. Stacking for life. As long as I keep making cool silver rounds, coins, and bars with interesting and fun designs that I like, I will never stop buying silver just for the hobby and fun of it. There you go. That's kind of one. That really is the main reason why I buy silver now, too. Hopefully, all this accumulation of metal when I'm old will help me keep the lights on. And see, that's part of the reason why I moved to gold is because I can get some of those same kind of designs on the gold coins as well, um, but yet better preserve my wealth with gold. Um, but I am still preserving wealth with, with the silver. I've got a couple of Kruger ants here that I got for 20 bucks a pop. I consider that a pretty decent deal, a stack of metals. Behemoth drummer Zvignel Pominski could contact the Wu could contract the Wuhan virus and get his hands cut off, and he could still outplay Lars Ulrich. Yes, that's true. Very true. Yes, I do. I need help, Barbara. Yes, I am in need of that. Please come by. Yes. Corona be cursed for that. I'll take it. I need it. Oh, let's see here. Nice coin, but not for me. All right, there you go, Mark B. Yeah, you know, I'm not terribly excited about these coins either. I'll get the set. They're okay, but 
Nevada says about time, which you're right. Yes, it is. It's about freaking time. I'm going in the hole with silver. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Moving up. Jack says, not interested. Only interested in animal-themed coins personally. All right. And people have their own in, uh, likes of designs and stuff like that. Some people like animals. Some people like ships. Some people like patriotic themes. Some people like, you know what I mean? It's just, you know. All right. Sal, so, did you say you have a couple of cougars over there? Yes, indeed. John Cougar, John Cougar Melon Camps, with emphasis on the melons, by the way. Silver Stanger is here. Hello, Silver Stanger. Check out, by the way, you guys, you're going to want to check out uh, <clears throat> Silver Stanger's uh, channel. He has posted some great uh, videos recently, and his newest pickups with his uh, check, with stimulus check, has been awesome. Some gold eagles. So check it out. Check out Silver Stanger. Great guy, great channel. Terry79 is a cougar. All right. Mark B says, I'm standing on my silver upside down, reaching for the ground, Sally. All right. There you go. Okay. Let's see here. Watermelon. There you go. El Porno's got it. A watermelon emoji. Very good. All right. Kendall Kid, have a great weekend. Thank you, Kendall Kid. Appreciate you being here. Have a good one, my friend. Scotiabank had some major senior resignation today. I'll send you a link. All right, thanks, Dale. Yes, thank you so much. Wow, that's news. Crazy. Man, that bank must be in trouble. We'll find out. Silver for Life 1230 says, I'm holding on to my silver. That being said, I'm not buying it. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. I've got a piece I'm holding on to right now. I'm holding it in my hand right now as we speak. <clears throat> okay. Wooden Nickel 89 says, Hey Sal, is there anywhere you get your nice coin capsules for cheaper by chance? Thank you, beautiful round of coins there. Um, well, I think eBay, uh, if you search for uh, direct fit capsules on eBay, I think you'll probably find some good deals. Other than that, other than that airtights.com is where I've gotten some of mine. Yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, man. Well, Silver Stanger, you're awesome. Silver Stanger. No problem, my friend. You've got a great channel, for sure. And you're a good guy. I appreciate you. Okay. Hi, Steve says, I stand behind my silver. Or you stand on your silver. Always wear socks. You shouldn't handle it with your bare feet. That's right. Hi, Steve. Well said. Exactly. I like that. Very good. I like that. El Porno. Here's El Porno's comment. It says, addicted and disheartened at times, but I still hold it. My pocket pieces are like my stress ball. Me too. Grounding in times of anxiety. Collector pieces bring some joy where a dollar amount is forgotten and the designs are appreciated. My favorite series is still the Perth Mint Lunar Opal Proof Coins. Oh, interesting. Of all up to the current mouse and will hopefully collect till the end. That's interesting. I've not seen those. Um, that is really cool, El Porcano. Thanks for the information on that. All right. All right. Hi, Steve is here with us, by the way. Good to see you. Hi, Steve. Silver Switch 176 says, Great video, Sal. I'm a collector, a stacker, and a flipper. I went into this knowing that, one, I would pay extra for premiums on silver. Two, it may take years to recoup my investment. Three, I may not be able to sell some of the pieces I intend on selling. All that said, I'm still stacking, just trying to enjoy my pile. I hope these prices lead to lower prices uh, this summer. Well, good job. Silver Switch sounds like you went into it with the right state of mind indeed. And I think that, uh, you know, for others, I don't think they completely grasped that when they went into it and uh, started making some pretty big mistakes and gotten bitter on it. As long as you have a good sense about you when you make a purchase of anything, um, you will um, tend to do better. All right. It's all good. It says, at present, I buy a few coins every once in a while. Not big orders, but I'm putting money back to buy more when I feel the time is right. Very good. All right. And that's just it. There's something to be said for saving cash at this time, too, for sure. I agree. All right. But enjoy your, your coins and your silver. And you know what I mean? That's what it's about. I'm a collector first. So for me, you know, when silver goes down this much, doesn't bother me a whole lot. 
Um, you know, as far as for me personally, I do feel for those who got into it hoping and thinking it was going to go to the moon. Uh, but I've never ha held that uh, viewpoint. Uh, so I try to be realistic about silver. And maybe that's why I'm not, I don't hate it uh, when it doesn't perform like I would hope it should. Because I understand it. You know what I mean? All right, let's see here. Donald in New Mexico says gun premiums are high, too. Yes, there is a lot of uh, people buying guns, too. Uh, silver hair stacker. I bought silver and gold this week. I may be a big dummy. Probably not silver hair. Good to see silver hair there, by the way. Silver Smith sees a 50-gram Valcambi Swiss gold commie bar for $2,600. Should I? Oh, man. Wow. Uh, let's see. What does that work out per... I don't know how to do math, well, that quickly to do the math on that. If that's close to spot or less than, um, you know, um, shoot, that's, what is that, an ounce and a half? Not even, probably not even an ounce and a half. You might be okay on that one, I don't know. Do the math in your head. Find out the price of gold per gram, uh, calculate it out. If you do it by 31.1 grams and you can get it for under $50 per ounce, Divided by grams, you're doing good, I think. <clears throat> All right. Aziz, Salah, silver, thumbs up. All right. Thank you, sir. Native stacker, Sal, I will still buy silver if I can get it for $20 or less. The deals are hard to find at this time, and I won't keep looking. I'm going to take a trip to the refinery soon, and I will let you know how it goes. Keep stacking. Wow. Uh, nice. Uh, yes, let me know how it goes at the foundry if you can get some good deals there. Grow Mechanic, Supper Time. You can call me anything, but don't call me late for dinner. Thank you so much for popping in, Grow Mechanic. I appreciate you. Yes, indeed. Okay, Flack Jacket Off says it's over 1.5 ounces. Okay, good. All right. Thought it was. So that seems like a good thing. All right, yeah, he probably, probably go for 10% of the spot. That's right, CCT. He knows how to find good deals, too. Silver hair does. Pops, we call him. Yes, indeed. Unaffiliated X says, I rest easier knowing I have silver and will only accumulate 10-ounce RCM bars for the foreseeable future. Silver is currently not doing its job as a hedge against inflation, unlike gold. Yeah, right now, it's not. I agree. Or if it is, barely. Depending on what measure you use, that's right. Pathfinder, thank you so much, Pathfinder. Thank you for keeping us sane. I appreciate the super chat, two dollars. It definitely does help. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Cool cowboy hat, my friend. I like to have a little bit of fun here for sure. Yes, indeed. Thank you again for that, Pathfinder. First super chat of the night, by the way. Very nice. All right, Eric Charlemagne says always with the caveat: don't expect to get the premium back. From your purchase. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Salava, but that's just a foolish old wife's tale. Uh, sure, if you try and sell it back to a coin shop in a huge collection dump, well, then I'm sorry to have to say this, but you're a sucker and you've been played, so maybe you deserve to take the loss. But if you've got any sense on your shoulders, you'll create an eBay store and command 300% ROI selling your precious metal. If you can take part, take part with it, you freaking addict, aspect raspy voice mofo. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, good luck with that. Um, because if you go to sell on eBay and you have a 300% ROI on a premium piece of silver that you bought, uh, I'll give you an example of a piece that I've got. Let's say I've got, I have bought a $100 collector silver coin. If, uh, if I got a $100 collector silver coin and I try to get 300% on that, and the marketplace isn't going to buy those, I'm not going to do very well on my eBay store, Eric. Uh, some people do well with that if they time it right, but I'm talking about regular folks that don't do that. Silver Stanger, those, thank you so much, my friend. That's what that button does. Yes, indeed, the Super Chat button. Thank you so much, my friend. Very kind of you, Silver Stanger. Um, Tony Ricci, calling any scammers tonight. Believe it or not, uh, my phone app is not working. The one we did try to call uh, from, a, from a, a regular phone, and he did not answer. But I did not get any numbers this week. Because of COVID, the scammers aren't as out as much. I've been getting Indian scammers call me, but I can't call them back. 
and they don't have any number to call back, obviously, so unfortunately. All right, let's see here. Very good. Let's move on up here. All right, so that's where that leaves. Let's see what other comments have popped in here. Helpful review. This happens on another channel too, and there's nothing ever there, even though it says three. So let's see where we're at with these uh, comments here. I'll get down to the bottom of them. I think we've had a few more pop in since there. So Wolverine, did you see a hospital was working on UV treatment for COVID? Trump was right again. Um, I have actually heard of that. Uh, UV treatment and also ultraviolet rate to help find veins. That technology has been out for a while, uh, but it doesn't surprise me. I saw that press conference when Trump asked the question. I didn't think anything of it. I thought that was a. I thought those were both great questions that he asked about not only the the light treatment but also disinfectant uh, potentially could be uh, used in medicine for sure. All right. Do some push-ups with Barb on your back. Oh, I'd love to. Yes, indeed. Mark B, I'm going to do more push-ups here in a momentarily. Eric says, how's the kitties? And the two fat cats are lounging on the couch. They're doing fine. Congratulations to your kitties. Oh, Silver Hair Stacker, what is a super chat? I think you found out. Thank you so much, Silver Hair Stacker. I appreciate it. You found it. Yes, indeed. Uh, Eric, you you missed it. I posted a video. Uh, if you search for Royal Arms... Uh, the largest and smallest that's an unboxing video, you will see a very rare footage of the very soft teak and cuddly kitty, the fat one. Uh, I've posted some videos recently with the kitties in them. Uh, yes, the scammers have caught COVID. Yes, indeed. All right. Harvey Greensman is here. Good to see you. Let's get back down to the bottom here. Gold Maple says, Salve, did you know that the game of basketball was invented by a Canadian? James Naismith, that's who that was. I was wondering, his great-granddaughter appeared on Jeopardy, and she is not a fan of basketball. The coin looks awesome. I would definitely order if it, if I was a big basketball fan. Well, that's interesting trivia. I did not realize that, Gold Maple. Very cool. Sometimes Sal is on my back. That's right, I wish. All right, very good. Sometimes I'm like a monkey on a back, right? Hi, Steve says, it's good to see the SF Mint open again, but I'm kindly waiting on the WW2 Eagle that's coming from West Point. It's way down in the schedule. Actually, the Enhanced BU kit set might be nice. In 2013, Enhanced BU Eagle was a good-looking coin. I agree. In fact, the 2013 Enhanced Eagle, I think, was more beautiful than the 2019 S Reverse Proof. All right. All right, I saw them. The, the day black and white one always... Uh, comment, but I watch. Do don't always comment. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, Eric. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. All right. Terry will ridge Sal hard and put him away wet. Oh my goodness! Wow. I don't know what ridge. All oh, right. Okay. Hey. All right. I'm on for it. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm willing participant here. Let's see. Sal one for cat, two for dog. Yeah. You'll know my vote on that. I'm a cat person. West Coast Stacker says, I bought a couple Perth Mint mini boxes at over $18 a few years ago with some platinum higher also. And I've been, I have enough silver and wish I pay less uh, for much of it. Started buying gold again a couple years ago. Wish I bought gold instead of silver and platinum. Have enough silver for insurance and do not plan on selling it. Trying to buy more gold now. There you go, West Coast Stacker. I think that's the mindset. You, you accumulate enough for insurance. If you have the luxury of selling some of it that you can take a, a gain on it, then you can uh, certainly buy some other stuff with it. But uh, I think, yeah, I'm with you. I kind of wish I would have bought more gold um, at the time indeed. All right, very good. Where are we at here? Let's get to the choppa. Good slurp. Okay, here we go. Slurp them with Ozzy. Here we go. Hmm. Ah, here we go. All right, nice. Rocky Superstar says, Sal, looking at some of these prices that the men is charging, I think David Ryder is trying to pay the national debt off. I hear you, like the five-ounce quarters. Yeah, I haven't even seen the five-ounce, the pricing on those, but yeah, crazy. I must have missed that. Agenda 69 is here. Baseball was UK. It was called Rounders. Okay, interesting. Wow. 
Yes, you can say that, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. It is here. It is there. It is there. Nettleby. Sometimes you get lucky. You ordered a random person that one ounce coin from Liberty. And they sent me a 2013 high relief koala proof coin. Nice. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Wow. Go Maple says, I think silver is cool. I like silver because it's chunky. It's relatively affordable for the average person. A one ounce coin feels a lot when I hold it in my hand. Unfortunately, silver is severely undervalued and its price has been has been pretty static. Gold is more valuable. But I always feel I am being cheated when I get a fractional, like a tenth or a fourth, uh, half or an ounce in my hand. I, did I just pay thousands of dollars for such a small amount? I hear you. It's that psychology of it. But you'll get passed out. And there were times when you can get deals for quarter ounces for pretty close to spot. All right. Very good. Thank you, Gold Maple. Uh, where are we at? Let's move on up here. Sean Martin, long haul works better for me. There you go. Got to be in it for the long haul. In it for the long haul. That's what it's about. Mm. Clog the drain. You're going to get one. I want one because of the con convex or convex service. What? Yes, I'm going to get them. For the collection. Pickle is here. Hello, Pickle. Silver Drill Pickle. Cal123, I'm probably a mix between stacker and collector. If I can get silver between $18 and $23 an ounce, I'm okay with that. Regardless of premium, the spot price seems a little artificial to me. While everyone wants to buy low, come on, who is going to sell at such a low spot price? But my time horizon is 20, 30 years, and hopefully even then I won't need to touch an ounce of it. Although I have been looking... I have more gold lately. All right, awesome. Yes, indeed. Yep. Very wise, very wise. Rhode Island Transformer, TCG. I'm standing on the top of the mountain with silver. I'm like a man on the silver mountain. That's right. Claude the Drain says, This will make 2020 a key date because the safety measures forcing less man hours dedicated to striking and a couple of that... With the shutdown, maybe shutdowns, and you've got yourself way less mintage. Well, I think already right now they've, they've broken records for 2020 Eagles so far. So I don't think it's going to do that, but that's just me. And I don't think, since a lot of those presses are, are automatic, uh, that is that the less staff and everything like that is going to have that much of an effect on it. Um, that's just me. All right, let's see here. Gold Maple, I love silver for a wide variety of coins, rounds and bars. You get many different denominations, sizes of the mines, famous people, different subjects. There is something artistic about the different types of coins, silver coins out there. It makes it affordable and enjoyable. And that's kind of what he's saying there, you know. You can you can enjoy it, the different designs. And, you know, it's cool. I've got a, that's a coin I'm flipping in my hand. And it's pure Silver. Silver. That's right. That's right. You hear that? That's silver. Now listen to this silver coin. Now let's hold on a minute here. Listen to this one. Then listen to this one. This one. That one. All right. That's your silver ping test. They're different kinds of silver. They are. That's right. I put it back in their flip now, but I can, I'm touching this silver. I'm manhandling it. Hand mandling it. I'm hand mandling it. Where are we at? Okay, coins A to Z. I haven't stopped buying silver since I started. All right. Very good. LSK says, Sal, do you think 2020 Silver Eagles will have a premium with low mintage? And all that's going on this year, you deserve more views. Oh, thank you. No, they will not. I don't think they will. Uh, I may do a video on that because enough people have asked me about that. All right. David Muse. I can't tell, uh, can't find silver anywhere, but the price is high when you do find silver. 
Yes, you, you're finding some deals. There are cracks in it now. You can, uh, you can, um, you can find uh, some deals out there. You got to shop for them, but they're out there. Oh, got the silver proof, fifty pence. Says Voodoo Scratch. Nice. The ping test. Mudswat. I still have faith in silver. It will follow behind gold, but may take a while. Uh, also doubt it. Uh, we'll see two thousand dollars. All right. Thanks, Mudswat. Battleship New Jersey Sailor. I'm acquiring forty ounces a month for as long as I can afford it, and it's primarily SEs with lesser amounts of ninety percent coins. Okay. I hope you're buying some gold along with that too, my friend. Oh, fire on the mountain. I don't know what that is. is that a song? Uh, gold flow free of the Wisco bar. Let me pull the guitar out. Let me do some more push ups first. Ah, uh, push up real good. I'm going to do, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can do 20 more. Here we go. 20 more push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we're not done yet. I'm going to do some pelvic thrust for you guys. You're not seeing this, thank goodness, but this does good for you. Del Rugby kind of did something like this in his latest exercise. I'm counting them. I can do these fast, but... You feel it. You feel it in your gut when you do this. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here, do it with me, guys. Pelvic thrust. Yeah. Nice. Oh. I mean, you know. It's a little something there. Lake of Fire. I don't know. No, that one. Who's leaving? Somebody's got a got a. Joe Costello got a split. I didn't even. Joey's here. Okay, thanks, Joe. You changed your avatar. It's it's gone now. Thank you. Don't mute me. It's mutiny. From Donald in New Mexico. We can't have that. Sick, Sal. I'm not sick. I don't have a fever. Ring bell. Rust this. Use it or lose it. Dylan doing things. Try it. Let's get the get fiddle out. We got no scammers to call, so might as well. I'm naked while doing this. I'm naked underneath all my clothes, Kevin Cowan. Nirvana Unplugged. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where are the WoW players? That's uh, such a tease. Tricky guy is here. He's lurking in the other room. And I hear Elvis Lust. Sounds like a gift for Terry. Ooh, man. 
Good to see Tricky Guy. He's moved. Oh, Rhode Island Transformer, TCG. Let's turn on the music so we don't hear the rigid org orgasm. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right. I don't know any Billy Squire. Uh, I remember Stroke Man had that song, but I don't I don't know it though, you know what I mean? I know very few cover songs really. I know the part of that paint in black, but that's about it. That's much your guitar needs tuning. I think it's in tune. The banjo, we rock, you rock, let's rock. Yes. Yes, you can tune my guitar anytime, says CCT. And Galahad USA says, My son will have a treasure chest full of shiny things. Really cool. Shiny things. That's right. There you go. Makes perfect. Hold their value much more than toys. That's for sure. Careful what you wish for. Hear the song Dean Town from Volpeck. All right. I need to get one of those little tiny amps that you can just put up. You know what I mean? Or one that I can plug into the computer. Standing firm, says Timothy Whittington. Very good. He's standing firm on that. All right. Something like that. Jenny. Yeah, where's Jenny been lately? We haven't seen Jenny in a long time. Repeat to 74. Yeah. In fact, not only have we not seen Jenny, but we've also not seen Amanda, who I was going to interview about her gold find that she found that I did a story on. I haven't heard anything from her back either, either. There it is. Anyways, all right. 
just farting around a little bit on the git fiddle. And nothing, just noodling a little bit here. And nothing's major. Let's see back. Okay, Saxon Stacker says, what I want, I want to get her two very different things, high or low spot, or premiums are forced out of control. Patience and discipline gets best results. It's rewarding and fun too. Yes, that's true. Very good. Patience and discipline. Exactly right. All right. Corkscrew, are you? Sorry. Alan Gold, where are you at? That's for you, Alan. Sean, 1744, is here. Good to see you. Tricky guy. I mean, Donald. Yeah, night all night, CCT. Thank you so much, my friend, for popping in. Check out his new avatar or his new emoji. All right. Ah. Lee says... Save in any form you want. I like silver because of the value buy. PMs are my favorite tool for saving holding in my hands and is very satisfying. Yes, indeed they are. Very good. Exactly right. Anything RJD. I don't know what RJD is. Stranglehold. Let me see if I can remember singing. Something like that, anyways. I am right. Uh, I'm right that you seem to be evolving into affirming that the riggers do play much larger in the market. Seems like I hear a sour note in your voice. No, that was the the sour note was the guitar. I hit a wrong note in the guitar. Uh, no, I'm for the rigging. I think it's a great thing. No, I've I've, I've never said it wasn't. There wasn't uh, manipulation going on, but. Uh, I just don't think it plays as big a role in the low spot prices that most silver people seem to think, and even gold people. Nugent, yeah, Nugent's awesome, man, yeah. Wish I knew more tangents. Free bird, yeah, free bird. There we go. Let's see here. Buddy Harding, Butchie Harding's gonna play some solos over it. Well, I need to get uh, Losing Louie on here. He's a much better guitar player than I am, and we could uh, have a dueling, uh, dueling guitars would be cool. Uh, Kevin, yeah, kind of dried out. My phone app doesn't work uh, tonight, so I really don't have 
many uh, calls to make, unfortunately. Good night, Silver Drill Pickle. Free Fallen. Oh, yeah. Let me go do some Free Fallen. I don't know that one, though, unfortunately. Or Running Down a Dream is another good one. Jared W3. I like to see the Mint do a commemorative for a U.S. rock band like the Royal Mint did for Queen. Maybe Slayer. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. A Slayer coin. You have to get congressional approval behind that one. Simple Man, yeah. Mm. Let's see if I know that one. Toshio says, still loving my silver. I let my daughter hold her tubes of ASEs and all the other silver at least once a week. I told her, if things get bad, we may have to sell. She said, no, Dad, we're not selling our silver. I hope at least the Queen's Beast comes out before the silver skyrockets. Yes, indeed. I'm with it, brother. Daughter's smart. All right. Yes, indeed. I washed my hands. No, I did not. Run to the hills in Cust. Yeah, let's see. In Cust, let's see. Yeah. Never can get those last two down, notes down, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, Rhode Island Transformer says... And that's why I buy sterling for dirt cheap and always guarantee profit, even at today's price. Don't get me wrong, I have 49 silver, but I bought them at scrap uh, prices, bottom dollar. I do not pay premiums for tax. Silver, silver. Patience is right, my friend. I buy because I can and have the funds to do so, and I don't let myself go broke, and I always keep thousands of dollars of fiat wrapped in the house stash. Plus, I sell collectibles online, and I get that from the thrift stores and turn them into profits. Very good. He's smart. He knows how to do it. He knows how to make uh, silver work for him, for sure. That's awesome. Every precious metal uh, that skyrocketed at some point amid everyone was like, holy poopy, same will come with silver. You just got to be patient. That's right. Exactly right. He buys it at the right, right way and knows how to turn it and flip it and make it work for him. He's a better man than I am. Zen Master says, the only relevance... And the spot price has to me is its effect on my cost to buy more silver. Spot price has zero effect on my plans for selling silver. My silver won't be sold or bartered until after this total collapse of modern culture. All right. I think we're in for some changes for sure, even there's not a collapse. Chief the Chieftain, good for you. You always get the nicest things. I'm jealous. Oh, man. Well, hey, don't be jealous, my friend. It's, uh, um, you know, it, you can probably find some of these for cheaper down the road in due course, but thank you. All right. Hey, 
Yeah, Joel Johnson says, I haven't bought silver since last fall. Gold has been good to me. 80, 20, gold, silver. Silver is pretty and will have its day. All right, very good. Nice. Nice. 80, 20, gold, silver. Nice. Good ratio there. Okay. There's where I'm at a little bit. You are listening to me to my guitar now. How fun is that? You know what I mean? How fun is that? I stand right here where I stand, says Chiefly Chieftain. Very good. Nice, sir. Yeah, I've lost a lot of viewers since I started picking up the guitar. There it is. There we go. Now it's in tune. Parts playing Megadeth, and yeah, let's see here. Um, um, I don't know all of that song, but it's part of it. All right. Okay. Mario says, "If I'm playing, if I'm paying too so much for a premium on junk for junk silver, almost twenty to thirty dollars an ounce, forget it. I'm hunting eBay, snagging all the deals on Morgan's near twenty twenty two dollars a coin. In the long run, I'll be the one laughing. These babies." I've always had a good premium, lots of desperate selling of Morgans, 1878 to 1904. All right. There you go. Snag those deals if you can find them for sure. All right. Silver Smith, see y'all. Nothing to do with the guitar. Have a great weekend. Okay, thanks, Silver Smith. Have a good weekend, sir. Appreciate you popping in. DB Stupid's got some fries. We're just having fun here, guys. Just noodling around a little bit. All right. Dylan doing things. Appreciate you. Sorry you guys had to listen to me too, my guitar. Have a good night, John P. Sounds like we're winding down here anyway. It's uh, It's getting late. Uh, Miles, Mias, April 2011, after watching Mike Maloney's YouTube videos, I went out and got myself a monster box. I was so stupid. Yes, I'm sorry, my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep, and that's just it. I think he over-promoted it, over-pumped it at the time. Sell, sell, sell. After 10 May... Why is that, Ahmed? Why is that? Tell us more. Okay. Zephiel, look at all those goodies. Yummy. I'm going to put this up. Uh... All right. Take care, Butchie Harding. Appreciate it. Winding down is my life. I'm going to put this away. Let's see, we're done with that. Sorry about that. 
I get, I tend to noodle with the guitar. Sorry, I know it's boring for some people. Okay. Aussie Coin Girl says there's plenty of silver in the market, still due to lack of demand from industrial industry. And then big buyers, China and Russia, are out of the market. Even though some mines are closed, doesn't mean silver stocks stop being available. It's still a month or two before the SHTF fully. It's just too early for the price to move at this stage. Yes. And we may not get to SHTF, um, but I think we're in a world of hurt economically. Silver Heist says. It'd be nice if uh, S helped crank out some 2020 Silver Eagles, too. Yes, that's right. It would be nice. I think they will. All right. Thanks, Barbara. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Uh, Nadia Loretto, best intro music in the history of YouTube. I love it. Wow. Well, thank you, Nadia. Wow. Very kind. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Silver Ice also says, where do I stand with silver? On the sidelines. I don't have a sense of urgency to buy more silver now at a low spot price when it comes with a higher than normal premium. I can wait a bit for premiums to drop because I don't think spot price is moving. Okay, all right. He understands the difference. And uh, where it is, he doesn't think it's going to move that much and the premiums will come down. He might be right. Thanks, Silver Heist. And then go repeat a 74 SHTF when silver hits the fan. That's right. Uh, Mark Williams says, you can't buy any silver in the UK. Sold out. You can get gold. Yeah. Well, that's related to a video I posted about silver was affected much more by the shutdowns. than that. Then yes, Barbara is awesome for sure, Medium Man. Tricky guy. Pop quiz for me. What is a fin, a saw buck, or two bits? And a Jackson add up to. You have 30 seconds. Go, go, go. A fin, a saw buck, and two bits. Uh, I'm going to say that is $1.40. Uh, All right, $1.40 is my guess. I don't know. Saw buck, I think, is a currency, kind of currency. Two bit is a thing. That, a, oh, Jackson is $20. Never mind. I did, forgot. I didn't see the Jackson. Let me see, Jackson, but I don't know what the fin is. Saw buck, I, I, is that a $5 bill? I don't know. I, my time is up anyway, so I don't know what it is. If you want to make money with silver, just buy paper contracts. If you want to protect from the zombie apocalypse, get physical silver. There you go. All right. Congratulations on a successful flip. Very nice looking set. Thank you, Silver Strike. You are the man. Appreciate that. All right. Let's try one more refresh of the comments before we say goodbye. Bullies are cowards. What's up? Bullies are cowards. When are you going to change your name back to Food Stamp? I gots to know. I gots to know. Blackbeard Goat says, I have two 2020 silver proof sets to be delivered to me today. I plan to sell one in 2040. Keep the other one for myself and eventually pass down to my heirs. Very good. All right. Um, Gordon says, feeling a little chatty tonight. So here's where I, where I stand. I view silver both as a store of value and as an insurance policy. As you said, I also think there has never been a greater need for insurance as right now. I didn't sour on silver completely, but I did get a heavy dose of disappointment. I'm relatively new to stacking silver and buying it. So when the spot price fell big time recently, I was ready to back up the truck. I wasn't too happy when I saw that the dealers were doing with the premiums. I understand supply and demand, but I feel a large part of that scene was just plain greed. Even though I still want to stack, I'm not paying for those current premiums where I feel I should bend over and I put in an order. I do have a twinge. A FOMO, but I have more of an aversion to being screwed. Yeah, I know. well, that's just it. If you don't feel comfortable paying those premiums, don't do it. I totally understand that. A lot of people don't. Uh, but there's a lot of people that feel, uh, I guess in some way, that it's going to, the spot price is going to eventually catch up there. But thanks a lot, guys. Hey, we had a fun night tonight. I appreciate, appreciate you guys hanging out with me here uh, tonight. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful evening, a multitude of gratitude. You all keep your feet in the stars and keep reaching.